In addition to the thousands of firefighters who were part of the procession, people also lined the route to pay their respects to Daryl Gordon. WLWT News 5's Christy Davis was there with them. It's been a somber and silent day, and it stands as a reminder for many of the people who made their way out, whether they know a firefighter or not, just how important the sacrifice of all first responders is to everyone who lives here. The weight of the day is lost on no one. Even five year old Katie Strange knows why she came out today. To show respect for the firemen that died. It was out of respect that groups of children were able to stand in silence. Jasmine Dokes took the time to reflect on the bravery of Daryl Gordon and all firefighters. It's the ultimate sacrifice. They don't even know us, but they just give up their life for their families, for us. A reminder even for the families of firefighters. I think it takes something sometimes like this to realize, you know, how dangerous it can be and, uh, you know, to not take it for granted. They're making valiant efforts every day and they do it for the, for the good of everyone. Ruth Ann Strange took her kids, Katie and Tyler, to the firefighter memorial to help them better understand the sacrifice. The emotions were almost too much for her. So we're here to show respect and support to the firemen that we know. She sees herself in the faces of Gordon's loved ones. Her husband is also a Cincinnati firefighter. Every time he runs in that he may not come out and leave not only me but my children alone. But today, they put their own fears aside. I'm really happy that he saved some people for this town. What He's our hero. Downtown, Christy Davis, WLWT, News 5.